Uh, it's doing really well. Um, we've sold out of all of our copies. We have a lot on order coming in, and I think a lot of other people have sold out as well. So it's doing really well. Um, I think we have at least um, like two or three a day coming in asking for it from what I've noticed. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure if that's every day or if it varies, but at least a couple of people a day. Well, I think it's because um, it's one of those great dystopian novels. Um, it deals a lot with propaganda and with our current administration. I think people are worried about that kind of thing and they want to be informed about, even though it's fiction, they want to be informed about the dangers of getting too close to that kind of reality right now. So. I think it's well, I mean, I guess they teach them in schools because it's set into fiction, but it could become real if we aren't careful, I think. I think Brave New World, because it kind of goes in the same vein as 1984. Um, and then people are also reading um, a lot of nonfiction books, too. Uh, people are reading, like, Rebecca Solnit's Hope in the Dark about her activism. I think people are also reading um, it Can't Happen Here by Sinclair Lewis, to go back to the fiction portion, but um, yeah, so there's a lot of good fiction and nonfiction options that people can read right now to sort of feel connected and like there's something they can do about their life if they feel helpless under this administration. In the book, there's a fictitious enemy that's, you know, that's it's all kind of a setup. And, and the way that you get people to do what you want to do is you hold up another flag or another country or something like that, and you say, these are the bad people. You dehumanize them, and then everybody is very easily led around to doing what you want. And I think that's a very, very old tactic. History repeats itself, so maybe that's what people are thinking, you know, going to the past to learn about the future. Um, yeah, I think we could definitely always learn something. There's things that we always forget that happened and they could help us today. Yeah. Mm -hmm.